guys. Well, today we're going to be making cloud bread. We have very basic ingredients here. Three eggs, room temperature, so I took them out about 20 minutes ago. Some cream cheese and cream of tartar. My kids love to say this word. Now, cloud bread is different from the regular keto bread that we're used to seeing. It is fluffier, it's not so eggy, and definitely less dense. So I think you're gonna love it. So first, we're going to separate our egg whites from our egg yolks. So let's get all the whites in there. And then we'll transfer the egg yolks to a separate dish. Here we're adding our quarter spoon of cream of tartar. So guys, we're beating the egg whites until stiff peaks form. In the egg whites, remember we added a quarter teaspoon of the cream of tartar as well. Now this prep time is gonna be about 10 minutes. I already preheated the oven at 350 and it'll bake about 30 minutes. Okay, so this looks about done. This is how it should look. I'll turn it off and let's do the test. There you go. Once those peaks come up, you know it's good. Now we're gonna work on the rest of it and we have to do it quickly before this starts to water itself down. So now we're going to put in two ounces of cream cheese. So I just used the little chart on the outside. Get the cream cheese in. We're gonna mix this up with the yolks. And now for this bread, you can add a little flavor because it's just really eggs, cream cheese, and cream of tartar. Cream cheese is gonna give it just a little bit of a tart flavor. So you can make it sweet, put in a, a, a natural sweetener, or make it a little savory. So I'm putting in some Himalayan pink sea salt and pepper. So I'm mixing these first. Trying to break down the cream cheese with a wooden spoon and then I will use my hand mixer. So I just rinsed off my beaters from the egg whites and now we're going to use it for the yolks. Okay guys, so now we're going to combine our two parts. So here we have our yolk with cream cheese, Himalayan sea salt and black pepper. We're going to fold it into our egg whites. Carefully fold it in as to not lose the fluff. So I previously lined a cookie sheet with some parchment paper, use wax paper. Uh, just don't do it directly on the cookie sheet because it will stick. So I'll just take a scoop. Slowly put it in. It is very fluffy. It's, it's loose. It doesn't have to look good, but it definitely has to taste good. Okay guys, so we're putting this in the oven and we're going to bake for 30 minutes. So here we go guys, here is our finished product. Now just to let you know, my consistency was a little thin, so it actually took my cloud bread about 12 minutes to cook. So you see how it cooks, it is thin, but they are so, so good. Definitely am in love with this cloud bread. Now I took this uh, batch over here and I dressed it up a little bit. Put some turkey bacon on it, some cheese, cut up some peppers. This is a great snack or even a lunch. You guys can do anything with this. You could put some strawberries, some raspberries on it, or just eat it, eat it as is. Guys, thanks so much for watching our video today. The recipe will be in the description box. Please remember to like our videos, subscribe for more future content, any questions, any comments, put them below, and remember to share. Have a great day, guys.